Before we get started with this class, we're going to do a little bit of percentage reviews. Now, if you need to understand how decimals relate to percentages, you'll need to review this slide. We're going to assume that you already understand this. We'll start off by finding 10%. 10% of a number is one of the most useful and also one of the easiest. To find 10%, all we need to do is move the decimal place over one spot. So if we don't have a decimal, we'll create one. Then we move it over one place. So 10% of 543 gives us 54.3. Pretty simple. So 1% is just as easy too. Instead of moving the decimal place over one spot, we're going to move it over two spots. So 1% of 654, move the decimal place over two spots, gives us 6.54. 100% is really just as easy too. In fact, it's the easiest by far. The number doesn't change. 100% of 765 is 765. 50% is just like taking a number and dividing it by 2. So 50% of 444 gives us 222. 5%, well 5% is just half of 10%. So the two steps to solve 5% in any order are divide by 2 and take 10%. You can take 10% first or divide it by 2 first, it doesn't matter. We're going to look at it in this example, 5% of 44. Well, we're going to start off this time by dividing by 2. So 44 divided by 2 gives us 22. Then we take 10%. Well, move the decimal place over 1 gives us 2.2. That's all there is to it. It's really easy. 15% tip example. Tip usually seems to be about 15%, at least in the part where I live and a lot of people use calculator apps. Well, you won't have to after this. 15% is just 10% plus 5%, and we already know how to solve those. So 10% of 24. Well, take the decimal place, move it over 1, gives us 2.4. And 5%, well, 5% is just half of 10%, so we divide it by 2 to get 1.2. Then remember, we broke it up, so we need to put it back together. 10% plus 5%, 2.4 plus 1.2. Add them up, gives us 3.6, or because we're working with money, $3.60. Let's start off by doing some easy percentages. I consider the easy ones to be anything ending in 0 or 5. 95% is one example of these. To solve 95% of 2400, we're going to break 95% into two parts. 100% minus 5%. 100% of 2400 doesn't change. It's still 2400. To find 5%, we're going to remember back to our previous lesson where we divide by 2 and take 10%. So dividing by 2 is, gives us 1200, and then taking 10% gives us 120. Now, we broke it up, so we have to put it back together. 100% minus 5%, 2400 minus 120, to give us our final answer of 2,280. We're going to try 75% now, doing the same thing, breaking it up. Now there's a couple different ways to break up 75%. I've chosen 50% plus 25% for this example. 50% of 880 gives us 440. Now we need to find 25% of 880. Now remember, 25% is just half of 50%. Well, we already solved 50%, so let's just take half of that. 440 divided by 2 gives us 220. That was pretty easy. Now, we broke it up, so we're going to put it back together. 440 plus 220. That gives us our final answer of 660 bucks. Now let's use the same breaking up technique to solve any percentage problem. The weird and uncommon ones, like what we're going to work with now, 31%, will probably rarely use, except on a few maybe standardized tests or uh, occasionally in real life. But if we want to be a human calculator, we're going to have to know how to do it. Breaking up 31%, we get 10% three times and 1%. Now, 10% of 20, 222 just gives us 22.2. Because we have three sets of 10%, we need to multiply that by 3 to give us 66.6. .6. Remember, 
10% plus 10% plus 10% is going to be the same as 3 times 10%. No point adding it all up. Last, we need to find 1% of 222, which just gives us 2.22. Now we broke it up, so we put it back together. 66.6 plus 2.22 gives us our final answer of 86.82. Let's try 97% of 195. 97% is probably broken down easiest into 100% minus 3%. 1% 1 of 195 gives us 1.95. Now we have three of them, so we multiply that by three using our speed, um, speed multiplication technique to get 5.85. Then we take 100%, which is 195, subtract it from our 3%, 5.85 to get our final answer of 189.15. Remember, 100% of any number leaves it unchanged. We don't need to calculate that out. Now it's time to try some of the harder ones. 176% of 195. The reason these ones are harder is we have to break them up into more parts. So, Breaking up 176%, one way to do it is 100% plus 50% plus 25% plus 1%. Well, we know what 100% is, so 50% of 195, using our speed halving technique, we get 97.5. 25% of that 195 is just going to be half of 97.5, or 44.25. 1% of 195 is just 1.95. And finally, we just add them all up. We get our final answer of 343.2. We know that's the correct answer, or we have a hint of that, because when we multiply 176% of 195, we're expecting a number bigger than 195. Remember, there are more ways to solve this problem. Maybe come up with a few on your own and, and give them a try.